today we're going to introduce some basics of how to DJ. Whether you want to be a trance DJ in the likeness of the world's number one DJ, DJ Tiesto, or whether you prefer a funkier sound and desire to sprint break beats like how DJ Icy does it. Fast banging techno like Carl Cox. Mixed progressive house tracks like John Digweed and Sasha. Or be a turntablist like DJ Kubert, you must first learn the very basics of DJing. That primarily means learning how to beat match two or more records or tracks, getting them playing at the same beat per minute. But before we do that, I'm going to explain the vital parts of the turntable and the mixer board and how they basically work. They include the pitch adjust knob and the speed buttons on the turntable, then the channel faders, the cross fader, and the gain knob on the mix board. The pitch adjust knob is used to discreetly adjust the speed of the record and is used to finally adjust the beat per minute of the song that's playing through the speakers or cued playing only through the earphones. The two speed buttons are labeled 33 and 45. This means that some records are meant to play at 33 and a third rotations per minute when the pitch adjust is set to zero and the other records are meant to play at 45 rotations per minute when the pitch adjust is, is set to zero. Starting with the channel faders on the mixer, they are used to fade in or out the volume of a song that the respective record is playing. The gain or trim knobs are used to adjust the decibel level in order to prevent from blowing the speakers whenever its respective channel fader is at its full top position. The main feature of the mixer is the cross fader. The cross fader is used to make a smooth transition from the song that's currently being played to the song that's cued to play next. as DJ Zell and uh, say hello to Ray Verpoo who dropped his uh, bracelet um, and um, I'm, I'm gonna, going to show you the basics of DJing and um, I don't know in order to do that I have to show you how to beat match um, okay uh, start, to start off with uh, I'm going to um, review over the uh, essential parts of the uh, turntable and the mixer board. Um, uh, on the turntable, um, the here, this is the uh, on-off switch and this turns, um, this starts the turntable. Um, it's playing too slow. This is uh, 33 and a third RPM and this is record is meant to play 45 RPM so sounds a lot better um, uh, and the pitch adjust knob um, is meant to speed up and slow down the record um, finally um, to match the beat per minute of that record and I'll show you how that works so I slowly increase the pitch adjust. You can hear the records speeding up. And that's how that works. Um, on the mixer board, um, um, this is the channel fader for that for playing record. And this is the gain knob 
the or, or it could be called the trim knob. And the trim knob is again used for to adjust the uh, maximum volume output whenever the uh, channel fader is, 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 at it, is at its full. In order to uh, prevent blowing the speakers. And now this is the crossfader. The crossfader is meant to transition this record into this record. So I don't want to have this record playing right now. So when it's all the way to the right, it's not, you don't want to hear anything playing. Um, so that's the basic part of the mixture board and the table. So I'm now going to demonstrate to you how to beat match. So I'm going to be playing the song, this record first. And it's called, um, it's by Ty Tech and Little Mike. Uh, and it's called The Party Ride. The Party Ride. And this track is by Daggio. And it's called My Life Right. So I'll start The Party Ride. And then I try and beat match the party ride, or my left right, into the party ride. So here we go. I'm using the pitch adjust knob to uh, speed up and slow down the beat per minute of this song to match the that song through my earphones before before I uh, turn up the channel fader. I think I have it. So like now if I got out of, out of beat, see there's two records are not beat mad at all. They're totally out of whack. So I use use the patch adjust knob. It's kind of hard to pitch. I just uh, try to be that and talk at the same time. Just as hard as it is to uh, walk and chew gum at the same time. So, um, anyway, there you have it. That's all about beat matching. Practice and enjoy!